what's going on? It's Thomas and in this video I want to share with you exactly how I go about finding a profitable Clickbank affiliate offer to run on Facebook ads. So you can see I'm inside my account and I'll give you a quick brief on this Clickbank account. So as of I want to say the end of March I started looking as you know I run native ads as well and I also run Facebook ads with Clickbank offers. So I took a particular campaign that was working well on native and I brought it over to Facebook and you know it started to tested the water in this week and you know made a few thousand dollars started to increase a little bit and then you know started to really push it a little bit further we're now two days away from the end of the week so i'm hoping to surpass this i think we should do averaging what well, you can see here we're averaging around three to four thousand dollars a day for the last few days so clickbank payout every week however your first payout like it's it's like sort of two weeks on, if that makes any sense at all so this payout of twenty two thousand dollars is due this wednesday and what i like to do is i like to reinvest clickbank back into clickbank campaigns i also have lead gen affiliate campaigns i like to invest the revenue from those back into those as well so i don't like to to cross stuff over if that makes sense i don't want to put all of the you know revenue from everything into this campaign and then my lead gen campaigns sort of be neglected doesn't make any sense i like to keep things as they are and it also allows me to keep track of things a little better and it also allows me to really see how well we're scaling right so you know i, I at the minute we are what we've we been pushing with yeah so this was the last week's payout okay so this was paid out last wednesday and you know so far i've managed to turn it into this just short of 20k and again, I hope to, to finish this week off around 25, 26K, hopefully. Um, and that'll be a decent return, you know. Now, obviously, ClickBank is going to be refunds to take into account. There's going to be, you know, the reserve or the allowance. There's going to be chargebacks. So that's got to be taken into an account. And I usually see, like right now, it's around 10% on the particular offer that I'm running. Like the last month, way lower like three to four percent but it's a 60 day refund policy for um clickbank so you know i am seeing around i think it's nine percent the particular campaign that i'm running right now so that's something to take into an account you know chances are this is going to end up maybe 18k or if we do 25 then it's going to end up at like 22 and a half thousand dollars then there's going to be a reserve so like clickbank reserve a specific percentage hold it back for future refunds in case that happens so you know i've got to take that into an account as well um, but it's just part and parcel of the game there's nothing you can do about it it's just what it is right it's what makes clickbank a good platform you know it allows consumers to trust in it because they know that if things don't work out if you know the product isn't what it says it is or they don't get the results that they were promised or whatever they can get their money back which is uh, really important um okay so i want to clear that up so what I want to do is I want to go to marketplace. So you need to go to clickbank.com. You can sign up for an account free to join. There are a few countries, a handful of countries that are not allowed to sign up for fraudulent reasons and a few other reasons that I don't know of, but they're few and far between. So I'm going to go to marketplace. And the first thing I want to do is I want to search the best performing products, the best selling products on Clickbank right now. I'm not interested in categories or niches. However, if you've got you know a specific audience already built in a specific niche look in the categories you know you can break them down to sub niches all that good stuff and have a look so but i want to just leave this blank and hit the magnifying glass it's going to rank them by popularity okay and popularity is basically how many units are being sold so this is the hottest selling offer the most units being sold and the second and the third etc a lot of people look at gravity which is still a really good indicator and one that i always want to look at but i don't want to solely rely on it to see how well an offer is selling because you could have you know a gravity of 100 which means 100 affiliates have all made at least one sale in the in the last two weeks or something like that but that could mean all 100 affiliates have only made one sale each okay so only 100 units have been sold whereas popularity you know there's a it means the most units being sold so one this is 648 affiliates promoting this or, or have made a sale within the last few weeks and then also you know there's going to be a percentage of those affiliates that have made you know 10 sales 100 sales a thousand sales 
So just bear that in mind, you know, this is probably more going to be like, you know, thousands of units being sold, uh, which is what we want. We want something that we know converts, where the VSL is working, where the product is selling uh, and appealing to the audience. So that's something to take into an account. So you can see this is a weight loss supplement. Uh, it has other benefits like sleep, improving sleep and, and all that good stuff. But um, the main sort of angle or hook is, is weight loss. So is the number two bestseller as well is Leptotox. That's another weight loss supplement. Lost Book of Remedies, Survival, Diabetes, Hobbyist and DIY Woodworking. Another weight loss, Back Pain. Uh, green so money saving I guess battery reconditioning probably also survival as well dating and children's um, education so a little bit of a mix and you can probably see that's you know right now we're in the middle of this global pandemic with coronavirus COVID-19 and you know lockdown across most of the world so it sort of makes sense that these offers are doing really well you know, a lot of, I mean, weight loss supplements do well anyway, but you, you know, you get that sort of people sat at home, you know, eating, maybe not getting as much exercise. Weight loss is definitely going to be a big issue. Sort of feel like it's going to be the new January when things get back to normal. And um, despite it not being January, you know, when people have New Year's resolutions, you know, I want to lose weight, I want to do this. It's going to be like that. People have been stuck in home and, um, not being able to exercise as much or not as you know much freedom to do what they want so it's um i see that sort of being the way things will go however supplements are always going to work you know they're always going to do well so the, it makes sense that the top two are, are supplements survival obviously you know the, the way things are going pandemic woodworking people stuck at home wanting new hobbies or to brush up on existing hobbies the one that's interesting to me is the education one because obviously in, in the UK especially, or that I know of, schools are, are shut down at the minute. No one knows when they're going to reopen. So, you know, you've got a lot of kids just sat at home playing Xbox, not really being able to get out and play with their friends. You, you know, obviously, if they've got a garden, they can go out and play in the garden or go for a walk or whatever. But, you know, it's sort of limited to what they can do, uh, especially education-wise. A lot of parents working from home, having to deal with the work, having to deal with the kids. You know, it sort of makes sense that this has climbed into the top 10, which I haven't seen it here before. Um, and this is an education product. It's obviously, as it says, reading Head Start helps kids learn to read. And the good thing about this and the interesting thing about this is it's a recurring product. So you can see here average rebuild total, average percentage that rebuild. And it's a decent gravity, you know, just under 100. Average sale, $125, which is, again, quite high really high to be fair for it for a decent product so this is interesting right because the reason why a continuity or recurring rebuild program is so you know effective is because you only have to do the work once and if the product's good and the vendor's good and you know they put a lot of work into looking after their members their paying customers then you should be able to make a good amount of money right so you can refer that one sale and you can get paid every single month for as long as they stay a member. You, you know, your value per customer is going to go way up. You might have lower conversions on the front end and you might have to pay a bit more per purchase to, to get, you know, someone to make a sale. However, in the long term, in the long run, if that person stays for like 12 months, you're going to get paid every single month. And if you say, say you get 10 paying customers in one month, and then eight of them stay paying the next month and you add another 10, now you've got 18 paying you every month and then another 10, you've got 28 and so, oh, so on, so on. Obviously that's on the low end, right? You know, if you're adding 100 people per month and you're making an average sale of $125 and you're adding 100 people in, that's gonna be like 12K, right? 12 and a half K, I think, which is pretty solid every month coming in. And then the next month, if 50, leave and cancel but 50 stay then you're going to get 6k from those 50 and then you add another 100 that's going to be 18k and you can build it up and build it up and you don't have to do any of the work like you've done the work once running your ad campaign making the sale and you get paid every month as long as they stay a, a paying member so that's what the appealing option of a, a recurring product is and this is recurring on the front end it also has a paid trial which is real nice so i did push this to my email list i made i didn't you know it didn't resonate really well 
but you can see here my average I sent 521 clicks my average hop was a penny a click right so that's really poor that's on the front end initial sales you can see here I made five dollars in initial sales meaning I got paid five dollars someone bought something on the initial sale the rest all took a one dollar trial and then they rebuild to a um, whatever the, the monthly subscription is which is now why I'm getting two hundred and twelve dollars in here and I, I think only maybe four or five people pay uh, you know signed up for the trial and they've all stayed for I think this is month two or month three now and obviously they've all stayed I actually made a couple of upsells as well off this five dollar sale they do reading on the front end maths and something else on the back end as well so you know it, it was pretty good pretty good and it's something that I'm maybe gonna look at because it's very easy to run on Facebook you know education it's not weight loss or diabetes something where you're really treading a very thin line on Facebook because you've got to be careful with your ad copy your landing page your images your weight you know you can't really be too full-on with, with those type of offers because Facebook's just gonna shut you down so education is a lot easier to run so this is gonna be the one that we're gonna look at so what I'm gonna do the, the way I you know so we found a product that we like the look of right so obviously they've got this affiliate page which I'm definitely going to check out and obviously we have to sign up I wonder if I've already opened it up prior yep affiliate tools so a little bit about it okay it's pretty cool So these guys, the guys behind this are always updating stuff. So they've added some more stuff as well. Um, so they've added a link that you can send people to with Facebook comments on, which is pretty good for social proof. I've actually really changed this. It's pretty cool. There's the options, all right? So they can do $1 trial and then get billed 37 a month after three days. They can do two, just short of 200 and get yearly. Or they can do 200 and get lifetime. So obviously that makes a lot of sense, right? What else we got? I don't know where these Facebook comments are. Not really sure why that's a Facebook comment one. Facebook ad comments. All right, that doesn't have anything to do with Facebook ad comments, but it does look pretty cool with this exclusive Facebook friend discount because we're running Facebook ads. Um, let's have a look and see what else we've got. So here's the demographics, very important, right? It's good to know who you need to target on Facebook. So we've got 72% female, obviously makes more sense that mums are gonna be a little bit more inclined to invest in, in the education and take notes of these ads, also to spend money as well. Uh, ages, again, makes a lot of sense. 25 to 54 is gonna be the bracket you know where people have you know younger kids probably I would say you know the, the t ideal target would be four to eight maybe maybe a bit older than that I, I'm not sure how how much um, how advanced the, the content inside this membership area is that's another thing you can do you can reach out to the vendor and ask them more about the product to get an understanding um, obviously 50 also oh, also teachers as well that's interesting educated affluent so again more things that you can look at in your targeting and your demographics interests not too much in the way of interests more very generic stuff and then here we go more news and updates switch membership platform to eliminate bugs causing login issues resulting in refunds that's very interesting countdown time is to order forms very cool very cool made so what's this 368 percent improvement on the first up so off a nearly 40 percent take rate now on the 89 writing head start added math head start beta as a 97 high ticket upsell this now brings the potential total per sale to over 500 dollars which is very interesting so we've got some information on that right they also have keywords which obviously you know ppc if you want to bid on uh, google which i've also got another video for for google ads but that's for another day banners some banners if you want to run display or you know get some ideas because I don't think you can run these on display because they don't have the logo on which you need um, infographics or you could just put them on your blog page or a website 
infographics, which is uh, pretty cool. Emails, so pre-written emails that you can swipe, send to your list, articles, and Facebook. Also, you can build a Facebook page, which is pretty cool as well, and an ad right there, but I don't recommend using that. So, what I wanna do, all right, so we've got this, right? So we opened this up in the one of the sales pages, and it's, you know, a special one with these Facebook comments. But what I want to do is I want to actually go and take the URL or the domain, readingheadstart.com. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a very cool tool called adspy.com. So this is a Facebook ad spying tool. Very, very cool. So I want to find what other people who are running this particular product, I notice, you know, at least 100 of them all making sales. I want to find the ones that I feel are, are doing the best. See what they're running. And I, I don't mean to swipe but I wanna see what type of images they're running to get some ideas, some ad copy ideas. And then what I can do is I can take the images and I can send them to a designer on Fiverr or an Upwork, wherever, and ask for very similar images. You know, that, the type, type of niche, and I pretty much guarantee that they're gonna be um, like illustrations. They seem to work really well with um, QuickBank offers. So, what I want to do is I want to change the ad text after you sign for, up for this. There's a link below, by the way, in the description. It gives you a little bit of a discount. And I, I can't remember the exact cost of it per month. I feel like it's $100 a month. You know, work, very worthwhile if you're going to be taking this seriously. Um, so what I want to do is go landing page URL. And then I want to paste in the URL that we just got and add to filters. Now we should be bringing up all of the... Um, ads that this tool can find all right now this isn't 100 percent accurate it never is let me just get a swig it's never 100 percent accurate so take it with a pinch of salt these might not be active you know some might have not been running for a while we've got it listed as the recent on top okay so you can stack by how many likes they've got which is going to bring up older ones I want to leave them at recent on top, see what people are running right now. So there's a video right here. It's like an illustration. I like the illustration. I'm not sure about these uh, text and speech bubbles. Another video here. So that's basically just, oh no, it's like a slideshow. Image here. See how they're all very curiosity driven. You know, it makes people wonder what, you know, what is going on in the brain. What's this little, you know, there's sound waves that's going in here, 94%. Why is that like that? It's very interesting. Again, this is the same one. Pretty much the same one as up there, different video, uh, different music. So you get, now we can see, you know, we get an idea of what's running. A lot of these, you know, faceless illustrations, it's pretty weird, but it sort of makes sense. Um, some with faces. Okay, so let's now stack this. Let's just take a look and see the likes. Now, again, pinch of salt needed with this because just because they've got a stack of likes, it doesn't really mean that they're, you know, best performing ad because they could easily just, you know, do a, a very cheap page boost post or, you know, boost post engagement ad, sorry, to very cheap countries to stack up social proof um, and pay pennies per engagement. So just take it with a pinch of salt. We can see this intelligent head start is pretty much dominating the top. And I'm looking at the dates as well. Our wise life lessons, which was actually published only last month or created last month, April. So I'm going to open this one up. So I'm going to click this arrow up in the top corner to open it up in Facebook. And we'll take a look at the actual post, see what's going on. So quite long form copy, which is pretty good. So I think this, this would be the way to do this. So you can see it's all very story based. I'm trying so hard to teach my children to read better, hit rock bottom, keep getting very confused, etc. And then, you know, introducing the solution. So now we've got the commenters and the reason why I'm hovering over them, I want to see what countries they're from. They're all these two US, US. Joe 
Georgian College, that'll be US, New York. So, you know, just sort of to get a little bit of insight, I like to dive through the comments and just see what people are saying. You know, this has got some really good engagement. It's all been running in the last few weeks. And again, going back to, you know, this could simply be a very cheap page engagement boost targeting India or, you know, Bangladesh or Nepal or Philippines or whatever, where it's very cheap to get likes. However, this seems to be primarily, you know, US, Washington. Which is a good sign. So I'm seeing a lot of people commenting on this, and I'm seeing these guys, and this is a you know a good lesson right here. They're replying to every comment, and there it looks like they're actually tailoring the responses. I see a lot of copy paste comments for, from pages when they when they reply back. So this is this is really cool. This page looks like it knows what it's doing. Um, you know, look at all these comments. I'm asking for info. How can I order this? I want this program. Where's the link to purchase? Can this program be shared on different devices? Some crazy psychedelic thing. And we're still going. We're still going through all these comments. So, you know, this looks like a really good ad. It's only been running for a couple of weeks by the looks of it. I'm just going to scroll back up. April 7th, so just over a month. 3.6 thousand likes and um, comment uh, likes and all the reactions, 591 comments, which is really good, 3,000 shares. So all the organic engagement that they're getting from this ad, you know, 3,000 people have shared this with their friends. You know, who knows how many sales that led to? And they haven't paid for those sales. It's been, you know, shared organically. So this is a very cool ad that I like the look of. Um, now there's two things that we want to do here. I want to check out the landing page. So I'm going to open this up see what they're doing on the lander uh, i'm not too keen on this lander so okay so this is actually pretty good so go to a blog as well same url by the looks of it yeah i mean it's it's, it's obviously do you know it's obviously working for them we don't know for sure if it's working for them but the fact that they've got all that engagement on their ad and it's primarily US, just from the little look that I had, sort of, you know, points to it being, um, it points to it being, you know, that they spent quite a lot on this ad, you know, you, who knows how much exactly, but you know, and if you're spending a lot on an ad and you're not making money back, you're either very stupid or you're determined to, to try and make it work. So I would say that they're making money on this ad just for the sheer volume of engagement that they have on it. Um, you can see here they're actually split testing different ones just by looking at that URL, how detailed it is. You know, reading Head Start, SPL, I don't know what that means. Facebook, US, all right, so the, this is targeting US and Canada. Reading Head Start, this is also a lookalike, 1%, but I don't know what of. I'm guessing reading Head Start visitors or leads or um, this might be the actual vendors lookalike. I know a lot of vendors offer their custom audiences as lookalikes so you can um, upload them and get a good head start targeting as close to the customers as possible. Version one, CBO campaign. So we, we've got a lot from that right there. You know, we know where they're targeting. We know they're running a lookalike and I, I, I'm guessing it's the reading head start customer lookalike. So they've got that from the vendor. So there you go. Um, so let's tap through, see if they're going straight to the lander to the offer, yeah, and here's the original page, just the VSL, cool, and there's the name of the uh, Clickbank, you, like the Clickbank ID, whatever, the person who's making, you know, promoting this, so that's pretty cool, so I would, I'm not too keen on the, on the lander, all right, but I, I it's all right, you know, it looks like it's working, I do like the fact that they're linking to a, bo a blog, I know from past experience, this is what I do as well. I have a blog and then I have my landing pages on the subdomain of the blog. That blog is updated weekly, okay, with new content, page post engagement campaigns to that new content. And the reason is I want to whitelist my URL. I want Facebook to see my URL getting a lot of good engagement, very valuable content, low bounce rate, all that good stuff, which is really important. Um, all right, so yeah, I would potentially make a new landing page, keep on spying on AdSpy to, to look for other landing pages and what else is being used. But you could still use this as a skeleton. I do like the fact that it has got some content as well on this as well. I think that's probably helping sort of like a little blog post almost. Um, 
so I could use this to get my ideas, you know, to, to use as a template. But another thing I like to do, okay, so I said before I'd look at the images and I, I, I don't like swiping images verbatim, you know, I don't want to use the exact same image, but I can copy this and save it to my hard drive and then send it to my designer, like I mentioned before, and ask, you know, can we get some images like this? Let's get five or six images similar to, to what they've done here. And then also, you know, the copy, the copy is obviously working pretty well. It's really resonating with the audience. So again, what we could do is we could copy this, we could send it to a copywriter. So like, again, you can, I'm not saying Fiverr copywriters are good. I, I've never used one, but you could potentially find someone on Fiverr to rewrite this. You could also use a service like um, Upwork or Ad Zombies, which is a, um, you know, they're specific to write, they do write good copy and good ads. You could ask Ad Zombies and I think it'd be like $50 for one ad. So you could copy this and send this to them and ask them to rewrite it or to create something brand new for it to split test against the rewrite. Um, that's what I do, okay? So then you've got your ads, you've got your lander and you've got your offer. Uh, you just need to set it up one thing I would do on this page though as well is I'd also look at what else they're running and you can do this through transparency go to ads library and it's going to show you the ads that they're running right now nothing in the United Kingdom or oh, it seems like they're only targeting US and Canada Let's see what this is okay so they've changed this image into a video and this is a pre-built video that you can do in Facebook so you upload your image in Facebook in the ads dashboard you choose to change it to a video uh, or create a video template or whatever it is, and then you can, uh, you know, pick a template and then play around with it. So that's all this is. Um, when was that published? That was published just a couple of days ago. Seems like that image is the number one image for them. The only image that they're running right now. Another thing that we can do on AdSpy is we can also check them out, see what else they've been running prior. So I just right click their page because I want to keep that other page open. And now it's bringing me all their ads. And that's all they've got. So it looks like this image is like a primary image. So there we go. That's how I would find something that I think's working. And not and obviously, like I said before, there's no guaranteed certainty, but there's a very good chance it is. There's a very, very good chance that these guys are making money doing what they're doing, promoting this product. Like I said before, it's recurring, which makes it very beneficial, you know. Um, and then I just take what they're doing, what I know is working for them, and then I'd Put my own spin on it you could rewrite it yourself if you want to rewrite it you could write your own new copy from scratch um you could take bits of it and mash it into something else and you could do the same with the images and i really don't recommend you swipe there are so many people out there that swipe images and add copy with it you know exactly the same it's really annoying one especially for the people out there who do go and pay a copywriter or pay a designer to design their own images and copy and then you know 10 other affiliates just swipe it and just use it for themselves it's really really annoying and obviously there's no way that you can stop that from happening but it's just you know it's just you know <laughs> i guess it's just <laughs> it's just the way it works but i just um i don't recommend you do that also you know you're just digging yourself a hole because you ain't going to perfect your skill set as an affiliate you're not going to be because you're just running what everyone else is running you need to try and stand out from the crowd you need to stand out not only from the crowd but also to your audience as well you need to look unique from the other 10 20 30 50 plus affiliates that are running this exact offer chances are targeting the exact same audience you need to you know think a little bit differently so hopefully you got some values i know it's, it's you know it's touching 30 minutes now so didn't intend for it to go that long but hopefully some value there um yeah hopefully you got something from it and obviously down below there's ad spy a link to ad spy as mentioned the, the tool that i'm using to spy and also to clickbank where you can sign up as well and obviously if you got any value from this i would very much appreciate it if you gave it a like and also subscribe to the channel intending to drop a lot more content and try and work through you know everything to do with clickbank and affiliate marketing lead gen that sort of stuff so if you're interested in that if you're looking to get involved in that make sure you subscribe and also turn on notifications cheers guys